A barcode will store machine readable information that will contain the manufacturer and the item code information or the product code information that a barcode scanner will use or can be used to uh, have labels on top of the items to, en to enable easier capturing of information and most of the products that you buy from your retail store will definitely be containing a barcode. So with inventory management part of Business Central, there is a way to uh, add barcodes to a report and it's simple. A barcode is just a font and it's implemented by in the system application. There, is, there are two modules, either if you'd like to use 1D or 2D, there is the ID automation 1D provider and the 2D provider. So in today's video, we'll be able to just display a barcode in a Word report. I'll share a link to uh, the Microsoft Learn for more details. If you'd like to also do um, an RDL report for the barcode. <music> So the ID Automation 2D provider, let's look at this uh, particular example. It implements the barcode font provider 2D. And basically we can see we this contract here specifies that we should this interface. So get a list of the 2D barcode symbologies that the provider supports. So we should get a list of the symbologies and we should also have a method, either a method or an overload methods, one or two methods, but at least one method to be able to encode the font. So we get a list of all the barcode symbologies that that particular provider supports. So if we want to add our custom provider, we can be able to do that. And then we encode um, we encode an input text into a 2d uh, barcode so this is now the encoding that we need to encode this input text and be able to select the barcode 2d symbology which will be uh, stored in this enum which is extensible also because we have now the barcode to the symbology that contains um, the several uh, different uh, symbologies that we can be able to select from. Uh, so these are examples like these Aztec barcodes. So it's a very efficient 2D symbology to use uh, that uses square modules with unique finder patterns and all that. Let's go to the one that we are keen on is the QR code. I believe we are all familiar with QR codes. They are very common nowadays and used um, especially in authentication and adding uh, to, to FA, adding, uh, if you'd like to add to factor authentication to your phones, most of the time if you have used Microsoft Authenticator, there is a part where you'd, you'd need to scan a QR code and all that. So this is a two dimensional barcode similar to the data matrix okay it's capable of encoding large amounts of data qr means quick response and all that so mostly it contains urls so if you'd like to share url instead of somebody going directly to that particular um, url by typing they can have a qr code on top of it and that, that's something that we can be able to generating business central and we're just encoding the text so apart from this basic uh, encoding of the item information we can also be able to encode maybe the item url if it's a store somewhere where if you'd like to buy that particular item online then we can have a report generated on that so let's just look at what we have we have the font provider and uh, it includes a library of the different barcode fonts and symbologies available for use in reports. And uh, the encoders are uh, components of the provider that encode the data strings of a report. 
data set to a specific font specification and symbology. So it's, it's simple. You specify the provider that you'd like to use and specifically for us, we'd like to use the ID automation. Um, okay, the barcode font provider 2D. So we'll be able to, we'll be implementing this ID automation 2D and we can basically be able to see the particular code unit that we are implementing and it is this ID automation 2D provider. So if we go to this enum, we can clearly see that it is implementing the ID automation 2D provider which is, we are back to this ID automation to the provider. So we'll be specifically be implementing that code unit. Then when we now need to define the symbology out of the different symbologies, we are specifically targeting the QR code symbology. And when you look at this, this is the value that we are tra targeting the QR code symbology and from this provider on selecting the specific symbology will return the QR code and uh, that is what we'd like to generate using our barcode um, API provider. So now then we just need to specify what is the string that you'd like to encode and this is it. This is our barcode string. And uh, now the other part is specifying the font that we'd like to um, to now to to have it. So so this string is encoded. Let's come back here. The encoded text is what will be um, containing a text that will be um, a text that can be rendered by the barcode provider. So there are specific fonts that um, we have just said it is simply a font. So since I'm testing this on a cloud environment, so it means um, the fonts will be automatically installed. But if not, then you need to basically install the fonts in your local machine or in your virtual machine, which is found every instruction about installing is found right at the bottom. And there are different ways to just specify uh, the font. So specifically, this font, we need to specify the font so that that encoded string can be presented in the form uh, of a QR code in our case. Uh, that is a 2D provider. So the, the encoded string will now be presented in the form of either a barcode or a QR code. So that's how we'll be able to do. And since ours is our two dimension will be using the ID automation today. So simply, once you have been able to uh, have your encoded string, this encoded text is the one that should be added as a column in your report. So the encoded text will be added as a column in your report, and this is what will be um, converted. So let's come to our report. So so here is our report. What I've done is I've already added a repeater control and uh, I've been able to basically uh, render the report. So if you're not familiar with word reports and how they start, you can just watch how to create word reports as there's a report series in this channel specifically, specifically for you for that. And I don't want to repeat that part so that um, we can just proceed and focus on barcodes. So when you do control D, we need to change our font. And uh, so the, the, the provider that you are using is this ID automation 2D. I've not installed this font in my machine, but since we are using um, the Business Central Cloud Sandbox, we will be able to get it by default because it will be installed. So basically when you select your font here and press control D, you'll see now it is ID automation to D and then you save the report and we'll just be able to run. 
So we have just changed the font. We first encode the string so that that font can be able to render that encoded uh, text that we are trying to support. So it is simple how to implement the barcode. Of course, if you'd like now to do your own custom providers, then you need to implement either the ID automation to D or the or you you can implement the the 1D interface. So if you have your own custom provider, then you can be also be able to do that. So let's test. But the best uh, use case for a QR code is for URLs. And uh, I've seen most of the QR codes having that part generated. So if it's a report that you'd like, maybe go to URL, maybe. A user can be told, just go to this URL, and they can be able to see that. Then it can be really nice. So now this is our report with the different QR codes. So, okay, I've called it barcode, but this should have been QR code. So we have uh, just generated our QR code for the particular item number. And if scanned, it can be able to uh, display this particular item number. So I think you guys should scan from your screen. You can pause the video and scan and see. And maybe I should have done a URL. It could have been better, but this is it. Uh, that's how we can be able to leverage the barcodes and easily be able to generate um, either 1D or 2D dimensions basing on, okay, depending on your requirements, then you'll be able to generate um, whichever uh, codes, either 1D or 2D for your Business Central application. So if you have used barcodes and you'd like to maybe add more about this, comment below or you can ask questions. I'll be uh, willing to answer whichever um, contribution that you'll have. You can uh, comment below if you have used it differently on what is the best use case for the barcode. Have you implemented your own custom functionality? So I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.